In this video, I'm going to show you how Explaindio is one of the fastest and easiest ways to create whiteboard videos. One of the coolest things about Explaindio is that you can create not only slideshow videos, but you can also create whiteboard videos. Now whiteboard videos, for those of you who don't know, are the ones where you have a hand drawing the picture. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Because what you're going to find is that Explaindio is actually one of the easiest whiteboard tools there is. So all you have to do is come down here and hit Add Image. And you can see there's already a library of images in here that you can choose from. And of course, you can bring in your own SVG files. And in the bonus package that I gave, there was a bunch of SVG files that you can bring in. So in this case, let's say we're going to do something about plumbing. Okay, so what we're going to do here is they've actually got a niche plumbing section here. And you can see that there are different characters in here that are doing plumbing jobs. So we're going to bring that in here and you can resize this. And if you hold the shift key down, it'll resize it and keep the aspect ratio. Okay, so what we can do is we could put the plumber over here and then we could add some text if we wanted to. So we could put add text and we could say something along the lines of have a difficult plumbing problem. Okay, and we can drop that in over here somewhere. Okay, and then if we want to, we can actually continue to add things to this. So for instance, we could hit add image. And if we go back to our plumbing niche here, we could show, oh, let's see, how about this guy right here? And again, we can resize this. Okay, and already we've got a slide here. And if we play this back by hitting preview, you can see that it's going to draw out the plumbing guy. It's going to say, have a difficult plumbing problem, and then draw our other picture. Pretty simple, right? I mean, it looks good, and it's very, very fast. And of course, the better artwork that you have, the better this is going to look. So that's how you create one slide using three different images here. Now, if we wanted to move on to another slide that has something, nothing to do with this one here, what we would do is, instead of just hitting Add Image, we would actually hit the plus button here. We would hit create a new sketch scene again. And again, we would hit add image. And now we'd go back to our niche plumber. And we would find the next one. And again, we can resize this. And then we can add some text. And we could say something along the lines of, we have the tools. Okay, and we'll resize this a little bit. And we'll add another piece of text here. And experience. that over here and then we'll add another piece of text here we'll say to do the job right okay and again we can resize this up here and so now we have our second set of slides and you can see there's a break in between here and that shows us that this is one set and this is another set and if we hit preview again you'll see now we have our first slide and then it goes right into our second slide okay not too bad right pretty easy We've done this in just a couple of moments 
Now all we need to do is add an end screen and we'd be done. Now I'm not going to take you through that whole process because we don't want to keep you here all day, but you get the idea. But now that we've created our two sets of slides here, let's go in and tweak this and make this even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit close canvas and this is going to bring us back to our more traditional slideshow view here. Now we can actually add slides to this collection so that we can have whiteboard and slides. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make some adjustments to some of these here. So we're going to go back to the first slide here. And you can see what we, one of the things that we can do is we can actually start to make some changes here. So for instance, if we didn't want this to start right away, we could actually put a little bit of a delay of like a second. And you can see there's a blank space and then the pen comes in. Now, of course, we can also make other adjustments to all of this as well. So for instance, let's say on slide two, instead of drawing this, what we want to do is we just want to have it fade in. Okay, so now when we go back and we preview this, we get our second, draws our first picture, and then our text fades in, followed by the drawing of the next picture. Okay, nice and easy, right? So that's just one of the things that we could do here. Now, let's say that for this slide here, rather than have him draw the slide out, what we want to do is we want to have him bring the slide in. So we can fly in by hand. And you can see the hand looks very different from the first hand. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to choose the hand that we want to use. So we'll hit set hand, and then we'll choose a hand that matches somewhat with the other hand. So we'll choose this one here. And now if we do preview, split second, followed by drawing the first picture, fade in on the text, and the next one is brought in by the hand. So there you go. So that's our first set of slides. Now there's some other fun things that we can do with this as well. Now let's say we go to our second set of slides here, and we want to do things maybe a little bit differently. Well, we got a few more options here. If we hit set hand, we can actually choose a different hand here, and we could choose one where it draws from behind. So let's choose this one here. And you can see, instead of the marker being pointed down, now the marker is being pointed towards us. But of course, it doesn't make sense because our images are behind that hand. So what we want to do is we want to hit this draw hand under sketch. And you can see now the hand is behind it as if it's drawing on a piece of glass. And if we want to continue to do that, we would go to the next one and we would choose the same set hand and draw under and just keep doing that with each of these here until we're all set. And so now we're drawing from behind for all of these. Okay, so we're starting to bring some of this together pretty well here. Now, some other things that we can do here that we may or may not want to do throughout the whole video, but th a couple things that we can do to make this a little bit more fun. The first thing that we could do is we can actually overwrite the sketch line color. So if we click this here, we can actually choose a different color. And what will happen is you can see it draws it in bright green, and then it fades to black. And again, with any of these, you can do a pause before, you can do a pause after, and you can actually extend the time that it takes to draw the image or speed it up as well. Now, another thing that we can do with all of this is after we're done creating these slides, we can actually have them be taken away by the hand. So for instance, in this one here right now, if we choose the last slide to do the job right, right now at the end, it just stays on the screen. But we can actually choose to have it fade out. You can see it disappears afterwards instead of staying there. Okay, so there's just a few of those types of things. And you can do things like fly out, fly out by hand, do nothing, fade out. Okay, so just a few different options that you can use with that. So now if we go over to our text section here, you can see that we've got one of the text slides chosen. And we can actually make changes to the text right from in here. And not only can we make changes to the text, but we could actually change the font if we wanted to. You can see, so now that one looks totally different. We can actually change the style of the font if there are different styles, like bold. Okay, we can add effects to the to the font here. So, for instance, uh, this is a black text on white background, so we could hit a dark bloom. And you can see that when it draws it, now there's a little bit of a, a bloomy shadow around the text there. Uh, you could also do things like a, a black clone shift. So now when it draws it here, you'll see it'll have like a black drop to it. It's a little tough to tell since they're both black, but 
then of course you can always go back and remove it so that there's no effect at all. And you can change the size of the font by clicking here. You can also change the text color if you choose as well. So those are the basics for creating a whiteboard video inside of Explaindio, a very easy tool for creating whiteboard videos very, very quickly. Thank you.